The death of my patron, Lord Horton, saddened me greatly, especially since it could have been so easily prevented. Had he not chosen to ignore my counsel and fight Sir Enfran personally in that fateful trial by combat, he may well have lived. As per my lord's will and testament, I, Jaden Darkholm, was appointed as regent to Lord Horton's son, Robert. I could not help but feel a tinge of pride, a minor scion of an insignificant dragonstone house, and yet I had climbed all the way to ruling a high lordship, and at only 22 years of age. What's more, despite wanting it desperately, working for it, bleeding for it, I had never forsaken my ideals to achieve it, never compromised my principles, and never treated a soul unfairly. Not all would agree with that assessment, however. Some would argue there was at least one man I treated unfairly. After all, Sir Enfren had won his trial by combat against my late liege. As the new regent, however, I declared the trial invalid. His killing of Lord Horton was unnecessary and dishonorable, and I stand by that judgment to this day. I decided to keep Sir Enfren in prison for his crime, but I promised him another chance to redeem himself on the dueling grounds in a few years. The crowning achievement of my six years of regency were the marriages I managed to secure for House Redford. Taking advantage of the Lannisters' weakened position during their succession feud between Lord Paramount Stefan and his uncle Devon, I negotiated a marriage between young Lord Robert's brother John and Tyressa Lannister, Lord Paramount Stefan's sister. The girl was closely related to both claimants, and the Redfords would be in a strong position for an alliance with whoever would end up winning Casterly Rock. My second marriage, though somewhat controversial, I consider my masterpiece. I sent Sir Gawain Redford across the narrow sea to the lion's den itself, Myrrh, where he managed to arrange a marriage between the young king of the Summer Crown himself, Harlan Baratheon, and Robert's sister, Fiona Redford. The move angered many minor Redfords, but I told them to swallow their pride. This was a golden opportunity to ally with the one kingdom that could hope to stand a chance at winning a war against the Iron Throne, should the time come. I was not only Lord Robert's regent, but also his guardian, and I even took him on as a squire. It was important to me that the young boy learn how to fight, so I took him with me to half a dozen tourneys. The boy picked up the art of war quickly. Once, inspired by Sir Manfrey Rudbury, the legendary giant from Dorne who dominated the tourney circuit in those years, Robert ran away with a piece of armor from the wagon train and participated in the melee himself. He was only 12 years old, and yet he managed not to completely embarrass himself. I could not help to be impressed with his bravery and skill, though of course I scolded him afterwards. Then it was time for the second trial of Sir Enfran Redwick, the husband of Mary Baratheon, the realm's spymaster, whom I still intended to marry to Lord Robert to honor his father's wishes. This time Sir Enfran would not be so lucky. Our new master at arms, Sir Manfred Waters, was a great warrior, brave and just. The fight was close, but Sir Manfred prevailed and left Sir Enfran dead in the field. Not wishing to make my goals too obvious, I would not allow the marriage between Mary and Robert just yet. That could wait until Robert was a man grown. In any case, young Robert didn't have much interest in Mary yet. In the tense lead up to the trial, he had spent a lot of time with Gianna Rolthorn, the daughter of Sir Manfred, and the two young teens developed a deep young love for each other. They would have slept in the same bed too had I not forbidden it. Robert's sister Fiona was not so lucky in her love life. Her betrothal to King Harlan Baratheon of the Summer Crown fell through when the young king died fighting a rebellion. His successor was the son of one of his sisters, Barman Florent, but the succession was contested. King Harwood Baratheon of the Iron Throne wished to reclaim the Summer Crown for his house, and declared war on Parman Florent. Understandably, the Redford would not involve itself in this conflict, and secretly many hoped their king would lose. It was during this long conflict that Lord Robert came of age. I was proud of the boy. He had grown up to be a brilliant commander and a skilled fighter, who had shown bravery and a willingness to work hard, although he had a tendency to run his mouth. Sadly, Lord Gawain Redford, his second cousin and our master at laws for many years, invited Robert for a feast in his honor, and the old man tried to drink his boy liege under the table. This was a mistake, and Lord Gawain never woke up from his drunken stupor. As my last act as regent, I invited Joshua Aaronford to court, a friendly, charming and handsome scion of an old Riverlands house who would replace Lord Gawain in the council. Then I resigned as regent. 
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode 3 of the, what did I call this series? The Redford Restoration series, yes. Uh, last episode, we ended the regency of uh, Robert II uh, Redford, who is now ruling in his own right. Uh, yes, we have picked up a new wife, uh, who is great. She's a genius, strong woman by the name of Mary Baratheon. Uh, and she has a ton of very nice claims, which we might uh, press at some point. Um, we also married into the Lannister family. So Lord, per Lord Paramount, Devon, the, uh, Devon Lannister, the usurper, has won his war in the Westlands. And we're trying to sway him so that he will accept an aggression pact and maybe even an, an alliance. Uh, we also got a son at the end of last episode. He was born 16th, 8th moon. So he's about a year old by now. Uh, we're training him already. Vincent Redford, Viserys Redford. <laughs> and we have a claim on Brunestone, the lordship. Uh, and we shouldn't forget to move our guy to the next uh, uh, county. Let's go to Gotha, maybe. Ideally, I want uh, a claim on the duchy. But I'm pretty sure it's not going to happen. We might as well try to grab what we can here in Runestone. Try to expand our power a little bit. We will soon have some powerful allies. I think we are probably, at the moment, still too weak to deal with the duchy of uh, Runestone. They're still too powerful. We have 5k troops. We have 3k. And we don't have enough money to hire mercenaries, nor will we in the near future. So uh, we're, but we're slowly building up our power. We were forced an alliance with the Lee Lannisters. We, well, we, we, we lost our alliance with the Kingdom of the Summer Crown because uh, last episode it was conquered by the Baratheons of the Iron Throne, which is bad news for us. But uh, good news for uh, your boy Highwood Baratheon, I guess, <laughs> who now controls an immense realm. <laughs> it's larger than Valyria itself. Although he did lose Dorn, it seems, or are they just fighting a, a civil war still? Yeah, probably, probably. They're probably not truly independent. But uh, the Bretons, they're, uh, they're doing well. Their vessels probably hate them. Yeah, a few of them. Lord Paramount of the Summer Crown, of course, hates him. Parliament Florent, because uh, his title was taken from him. Uh, the Magister of Norfos hates him. Lord Paramount of the Stormlands hates him for some reason. Rival. So he's, he's got a he's got a few powerful uh, powerful enemies. So uh, you know maybe one day we will be able to depose him. But right now he's looking stronger than ever. So we're going to bide our time some more. And uh, also we have now of course our sister uh, who's no longer married. And I was looking around a little bit, uh, and I could see that uh, your boy Willis II Tyrell's heir Simon Tyrell is unmarried. So let's see if we can marry into that clan. Yes, great, 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 great. That is an amazing ally to have. The Reach, although I, they're, they're, not, they're not that strong at the moment. Uh, only 14k. Um, and that's more or less it. For now, I think probably because he's quite hated. He's a tyrant. He's cruel, he's arbitrary, ruthless. He's not, he's not, he's not a very nice man, Willis Tyrell. Uh, but uh, he's still a powerful, uh, powerful vessel of the Iron Throne. Not as powerful as the Westerlands, uh, strangely enough. But at least he wants to become my ally immediately, I think. Just a non-aggression pact. But he also wants to become an ally. That is great, my man. Uh, send her to the plot. Are we, do are we doing any plotting? We are not doing any plotting. Hmm. Should we be doing any plotting? That is the question. Um, we stand to inherit any nice claims? I don't think so. We should get our cousin over here, actually. You want to come to my court, my man? No, he loves his, uh, his leash. Lord Michael of Dagger Lake. That is fair enough. Mm. I guess we could try to kill the, the Baratheon. Michael of the Iron Throne, 62 years, years old. This is Renly's son. Renly's son, Michael. Who's Justin Craven. So I'm, I'm pretty sure if I kill this guy, this guy has a ton of claims on, on all kinds of stuff. So, <laughs> And he's honorable and, and just. So I think, <laughs> if anything, it will, uh, it, will, it will lead to a more powerful... <laughs> Iron Throne, so uh, I think I will I will leave it uh, as 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 is for now. So I guess a rest chance. Um, yeah, uh, we can also we, uh, John Aaron wants to appoint as a commander. Do we want that? Yes, we're a great fighter, right? Skilled fighter, yeah. Let's do it. Thank you for the alliance, my boy Willis, the second of the Reach. I think it's time for our first war of the series. I think we're gonna grab the Rune Star. We can't we can't call our ally in. Why not? Because he's not a vessel of the veil. Is that uh, is that a, is that a thing? And well, I guess we need to get a ally in the veil itself then. Well, let's have a look who is the most powerful 
Lord, uh, the most powerful vessel of uh, Lord John. We have Elena with 6k troops. So she has a ton of uh, children, actually. We can probably find somebody to marry to one of our uh, family members. Uh, John is betrothed to Lady of the Westlands. No, I guess not. Uh, Vincent, maybe. Vincent is zero years old. I would prefer to have a better claim for him, but if we cannot, cannot conquer Runestone without any help from the vessels of Lord John II of the Vale, then this is a, a, as good a cause as any, I think. So that is this woman. My woman. Um, we have a zero-year-old baby. <laughs> we want to betroth. Ah, okay, great. Fiona Malcolm. She's got a, she, she gets a ton of prestige effects from me, I guess. Uh, my demand is obviously... Yep, I decided to accept. Okay, do you want an alliance? No. What about if I give you some money? <laughs> yes, okay, good. That is great. Attorney. Oh, we're, uh, we're fighting attorney. Are we still a squire? No, we're a knight. Uh, sure, sure Jaden Darkholm is fighting in this tourney, our, uh, our former, well, uh, guardian. And a bunch of errands are fighting in, in this journey, this tourney. I think, I think we stand a pretty good chance to get pretty far. But let's say that at this tourney, we are, uh, we're talking to our new, uh, family, the Malcolms. Or the, the Hunters. The Malcolms or the Hunters or whatever. Oh, I guess we can have, uh, we can do an, uh, I figured we could do, a. Alliance with this guy as well, but I guess not. Oh dear, he, she, he hit me already. Ah, oh, come on, man. I'm left in the dirt. Okay, well. <laughs> um, but, can we call in... Okay, we can call her in. I was a little bit worried that we couldn't call her in either, but we can call her in. Um, do we risk it? Yeah, we can risk it, we can risk it. We are outnumbering him quite significantly, so unless he has some really, really great allies, and I think it's only non-aggression packs that he has. So declare war, claim runestone. Let's do it. Let's do our first war of the series. Let's see if we can uh, see if we can uh, win it. Uh, my woman, would you like to help us in our war, Elena Hunter of uh, Strong Song? That's a pretty big, uh, pretty big uh, uh, country, pretty good, big duchy. So uh, makes sense that she's, she's as powerful as she is. Willem of Old Anchor also has a ton of troops, so I'm I'm a little bit. Uh, sad that we cannot quite yet convince him to uh, become our ally, but we might, we might, uh, we might be able to do it soon, and that would be another great ally to have in the Vale. I think, uh, I think, I think we we, we made the, made the right choice by um, by um, asking uh, asking uh, to asking to marry the family of uh, Alina Hunter. Okay, Alina Hunter, please join me here. In in fact, we might want to run away to your land because this guy I think outnumbers us. Yeah. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's run away. <laughs> let's go over to Strong. Let's go over to the Erie. And, uh, and, and gather our forces there, uh, my, my woman. He fought well. Oh, yeah. Manfred Waters. Manfred is the winner. Will he win the tourney? He did win the tourney. No, not quite yet, I think. There's one more to go. Yeah, Manfred, Manfred Waters was the winner of the tourney. I mean, it's well deserved, uh, my friend. You're one of the best fighters of, uh, of the Redford. So you're also uh, one of the best fighters of the Vale, uh, by extension. Uh, let's get to the Erie, and let's see if we can't get our forces together up here in the Erie. Oh, stop, stop, stop. I want you here. Please attach to me. You are attached to me. Okay, great. Let's, uh, they're besieging our ancestral castle in the Redford, so let's head down there. Kick their ass. We outnumber them two to one, so we should be fine. Even though we're fighting in the mountains, I think. Yeah, so this is... Ugh, they're gonna get a big defensive penalty. It's not quite as... Uh, to big defensive bonus. It's not quite as unforgiving as uh, CK3, so I think we, we might still be fine. But it's tricky. Ah, okay, we're fighting we're fighting the Lord of um, Runestone himself. Prepare to die, Roy scum. One mistake is all he'll get. I quickly avoided this forceful attacks. I uh, I found a, a, a hole in his defense. A strong Astana, we killed him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Our first ever um, encounter with combat, and we murder... <laughs> the Lord of Runestone himself, as strong as stone. Tries to fight back, but I force my way through and move to ruthlessly pierce through his leg. Okay, we we we, we slay we slew we slew this man, and uh, his death is demoralizing the enemy. Now is our chance. Yeah, we should be able to win this battle, even though it's a pretty big battle. Uh, I formally invite you to my court for a period of festivities leading up to my coronation. Uh, we don't really have time for this, actually, and we don't like you. So no, <laughs> I must decline this honor. <laughs> we don't trust you, my man. 
Uh, during the battle, I catch sight of a strong jawed man who looks like a lot like my friend Sir Hugo. Who is Sir Hugo? I think he's one of the the, the children I grew up with. Oh, this is the Hugo Hugo Aaron of the Ville. Oh uh, yeah, Jenna Rothorn is still my lover. Can we seduce you already? No, she's still repelled. Uh, we must be to tent. Uh, suddenly, I am pushing soldiers out of the way, hurrying over to where I saw him fall. I know it is not Hugo, but I cannot help myself. We must remember to tend our wounded. Yes, I would like to become patient. Great. Oh, this is <laughs> this is a slaughter. Despite their massive defensive advantage, we uh, we, we we killed uh, four or five times as many as they killed uh, on our end. Um, that is already well. We can chase them down once, but we don't need to. But we already have max battle war score. So we're gonna head over to Runestone and grab it. Oh, we need money. Um, take out a loan. Take out a loan. Oh, we, we cannot. We cannot take out a loan because we we defaulted on the Iron Bank. Right. That's right. Oh my God. Is that is that just gonna be with us forever? We're just never gonna be able to take a loan from the Iron Bank. That sucks. Can we take out a loan from a vessel. Let's see. My wife is pregnant. Great. Uh, nope. Okay, that sucks. <laughs> um, Princess Mary Brethian has been a Leo Enable servant. Yeah, let's, let's give her some... Uh, let's give her a uh, reward, right? Why do you hate me so much, man? Denied marriage. No, I didn't. Ah, we can make a seducer again. Okay, let, let, let's, let's try again. Let's um, give her an honorary title. Up her, uh, her opinion of us a little bit. She will be mine. I think she's quite tricky to uh, seduce, but we can try. We can try. Runestone, let's go. Let's take it. Ask my friend to join the war. You go. Would you want to join the war? Would be nice. Let's see if he wants to join. I don't think so. Nope. Okay. Well, that's fine. Let's. Uh, let's. Uh, you don't. You don't have to. You go. Okay. We're gonna besiege Runestone. I hope we will siege it down quicker than he can siege down the Red Fort. And there's no rush. I want these guy. I, I want to relieve our ancestral castle while we continue sieging, uh, sieging Runestone. We have the men for it. A son was born named Biomar. Oh, we were gonna. So we were gonna do this. We we're gonna name this one Harry, right? And actually, um, um, I uh, I talked about that. So we're doing we're doing sort of fa fake Valyrian names. So this is uh, Ares, Harry. Vincent is Viserys, and then we uh, we can do so for Rhaegar. I couldn't really think of anything, but we can of, of course do Roger, you know Roger Redford, <laughs> Rhaegar, pretty great. Okay, I, we do uh, we do have lack of funds, so I think we really we really might struggle here, but let's see. Nope, we are winning. Great, we are pretty great, uh, Marshall. So that makes some sense, I guess. Let's head back to Redford or to uh, Runestone. Continue this massive siege, which is a big ass castle. Yeah, with 2,000 garrison and 4,000 levy. Wow. This is really going to boost our power in the, in the Vale. I think we might just we might just go up to the most powerful uh, lord, most powerful vessel of the Vale here. So that is a, a good way forward. Yeah, let's marry Teresa of the Westerlands. Uh, lord Arlen Royce is not here. But we can imprison uh, his family. We'll take them into house arrest. Let's take them to house arrest. Why not? We already won, so uh, enforce demands. We gain the lordship of Runestone. There we go. That is great. Okay, let's lower our forces, get some money back into our coffers. Ooh, six thousand, six thousand uh, unraised, unraised levy total. I think that is probably the largest amount of any uh, villain. So that is great. Can a prison lord uh, this guy? We don't. We, we have no reason to do that. The castle of Falcon Tower. We can't hold this because uh, we already had our, had our main event. We don't even get the um, the, the the penalty for, for taking it by force. This is great, though. We have expanded our land for the first time. Uh, we might even want to move to Runestone. What does Runestone look like? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna have a look at the wiki. Uh, oh, the Prince Damon Targaryen lived here with his wife Rhea Royce, whom he murdered. Okay, all right, Runestone Castle. That's nice. I think it's not really described though in in lore. There's a lot of different uh, places for it. Oh, we have uh, we have we have of course canon um, House of the Dragon. We, Runestone is shown in the House of the Dragons, and and also in Game of Thrones apparently. It's a pretty neat castle. 
pretty nice. I like it. All right. We might want to move there uh, at some point because we, well, I guess we, we have some love for our ancestral castle, but not that much, you know. <laughs> we're fine. Um, we're fine moving to a bigger castle if it suits us. Because the Red Fort has 2,600 levy and Runestone has uh, almost 4,000 levy if it's fully grown. And it's probably, it's, it's a better fort as well, I think. It's because it's, it's got a higher fort level. Eight fort level versus R7. Yeah, so I think it's worth it to move to Runestone at some point. I won't give up just yet. Can we give, some, um, can we give her some, some gold? Can we make her a uh, designated regent? I think she deserves that. Jaden, my boy, we uh, we appreciate your uh, your service to our uh, our cause, but I think uh, I think we can uh, we can have our wife be the regent. Uh, she can die among her friends. She's ruthless, chaste, cynical, authoritative. Um, flirt with her discreetly. Uh, she can die among her friends. I can do confess my love, make a loot suggestion. She's chaste. So uh, make a loot suggestion will probably not work. Respond to poetry and learning. That will probably work. Naive romantic. I don't think she's a naive romantic. She's cynical. But she has chased. So maybe. Let's try. Nope. Uh, the picture is strong in this one. We, we will continue. We will continue seducing our wife. I shall have her. She responded positively to one of my advances. Can we give you some money already? Sure. Here you go, wifey. Because I think a higher, higher opinion probably helps. A chance to prove my worth. The tourney of Moon's Grey. Alright, sure. We can go to another tourney. We want to prove our worth to the realm. As a new Lord of Runestone, we want to sort of uh, secure our position. I shall ready my horse. Let's uh, let's, let's do have another go at the, uh, the tourney. We're fighting this man. We're about evenly matched. Let's hope this time we can we can defeat. We can get to the uh, to the next room. Meet in my room, my lady. Leave her yearning for more. Uh, meet in my room, my lady. Yes, okay, great, 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 great. Uh, let our love grow. I find it, I must say. Okay, we can... Um, we have seduced our wife successfully. Which is good news. Uh, oh, so Damon and horse me. That's a shame. But we made it quite far, I think. Oh, my friend is doing a tourney. We're doing a lot of tourneys nowadays. Uh, Lord Premier Devon would appreciate learning about the benefits of hard work from me. Uh, well, he's not diligent, necessarily. But I can tell him of my prosperous realm, sure. Nope, he doesn't want to. You want to uh, have his non-aggression pact already? Almost. I think we're, we're almost there. We're almost there. We're almost convinced, uh, Lord Paramount Devon, of the righteousness of our cause. Okay, we're, we're doing we're at the bloody gate, fighting a tourney uh, in our friend's castle. Thing, also, we're fighting our master at arms, so Manfred Waters. Okay, this is this is for honor, guys. I think um, we have ninety personal combat skill. Really? Wow. Quick, skilled fighter, brave. Cool. Um. We're fighting Manfred Waters with 100 personal combat skills, so we're probably going to lose. Because this guy already has regional tourney wins and grand tourney wins, so... But we'll see. Maybe we will win this time. Nope. Uh, he hit his lance against our uh, our armor, and we fell off. Well, it, uh, it's, not, it's, it's no shame to uh, to lose against Manfred Waters. He's one of the greatest uh, the greatest uh, tourney knights of the Vale, and uh, we did come in second in the jousting tournament, so that is good. The Grand Tourney of Castamere. Let's do another tourney. We're getting, uh, we're getting to be a fine tourney knight. I think uh, that's fine. That's fair enough. I think we want to sort of distinguish ourselves uh, to uh, get uh, get out from under the shadow of our uh, our father, Horton the Red Worm of the Redford. I don't know if I told you guys that, but uh, I changed his name. I, uh, I added a little nickname, the Red Worm. I think one of you guys in the comments suggested it. My wife has retired to the set for a short while to gather her thoughts and find some peace, maybe even uh, the gods. Perfect occasion to spend time with my lover. Be discreet about spending time with my lover. Spend the time working instead. Um. Hmm. Lustful. We are lustful. Brave. We're not particularly honorable. I think we can uh, we can spend some time uh, with our lover, but uh, let, let, uh, let's be a, a bit discreet. Let's be a bit discreet. Deceitful. Okay. Oh, that's fine. Actually, that's a pretty good trade. Plus three intrigue. Plus five personal combat skill. Oh, wow. A lovely dinner, neighbor. And after some wine, we were both a bit drunk. And if I read the situation correctly, more than a little attracted to each other. Dainilla and Robert uh, II slipped away from the, feast, uh, from the feast unnoticed together. All right, sure. 
Daniela and I ended up in the room with a big bed in the middle of the room. The sweet bear and the obvious attraction between us led to a pleasant evening. Dot, dot, dot. She became pregnant with my child. Okay, well, <laughs> she my lover still? No, no, she's not. It was just a little, uh, little dalliance, I guess. We should switch our focus, though, uh, to something else. What is a good focus to have right now? We could, though... Uh, yeah. Hmm. I'm pretty sure if you do scholarship, you can you can try to uh, pick up a dragon zack, which would be pretty nice. Um, we could go hunting, we could go intrigue, we could go business, get some money. I would like Valyrian steel as well. I think you need ambitious for that. Mm, let's do scholarship for a while. Let's let's just learn about our dragon heritage a little bit. We have uh, we have an air and a spare right now, so the uh, the children thing is a little bit uh, less urgent. Uh, great treasury. I would like to become master at arms, actually. Um, yes, because I'm I'm pretty pretty great master at arms for the realm. I think it makes sense. Um, fabricate a claim on the high lordship of Runestone. Oh, let's do that. I hope uh, somebody wants to join us in that. Dark home. Ah, uh, the dark homes want to join us. That's fair. <laughs> That's fair enough, I guess. Um, we have another tourney. It should be good, fine, fair enough. My lover Jenna has informed me that she is pregnant with my child already. She fought well. How much do we need to get that claim? See if we can uh, see if we can get it. Look at the claim on the High Lordship. Four plot backers and a hundred percent plot power ideally. Okay, I don't think we will get to a hundred percent anytime soon, so I think we're just gonna have to roll the dice on this one. So we have three pl three plot backers. We have a 60% chance of successfully fabricating a claim on the High Lordship. Come on. Yes, okay, great. We have a claim on the High Lordship of Runestone. So we have a claim, what, what does that buy us? Because I think, who, who holds the High Lordship of the Runestone? Somebody still hold it? Yeah, this guy. Declare war. We can, uh, we can grab the, 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 Lord, the, the High Lordship as a whole in a few years from him. And he's pretty weak, so that's actually great. Because uh, I think by then we will probably be able to take him one on one, and then we still have our allies. Uh, Lady of Strong Song, Lord Paramount of the Reach. Not the Lord Paramount of the Westerlands yet. Who still doesn't want to have this non aggression pack. Come on, man. No, don't be a prick. Alright, so we fabricated the claim on the High Lordship. That is good. Very good news indeed. But I wanted to become um, a Marshal. Replace Lord uh, Hubert Hunter as Master of Arms. Let's do it. Is you, are you a good fighter? No. Because you can... I, I know that you can invite these guys to a duel. Uh, Raymar, we have another son. Oh, we've got Roger, right? Oh, he's, he's stillborn. He's stillborn. That's a shame. We can call him... Um, we can call him Dennis. After Daenerys. Because we, we never knew our grandmother. So uh, that's kind of appropriate for a stillborn. Vincent, Harry, and Dennis. And Dennis was the only with the, the only one with Valyrian hair, so that's uh, that's a shame. Um, let's see if we can find some plot backers first. Ah, our uh, our ally. Uh, uh, yep, let's do it. Right, he's in the top three most powerful vessels of Lord Paramount John the Fat. We are indeed. Um, what does Lord Paramount John think of us? He doesn't really like us. Dithered, dithered. I don't know what he means by that, but uh, all right then. Uh, we can still we can we can still go for it though. Man, mess with arms position. I want that job and I want it bad. There's no way Lord Paramount John III will not will give it to me just because I want to become a counselor. I need to work hard to get it. First steps first, uh, make friends with the counselor. And we can try to become uh, friends with the current uh, Master Arms. Like he's a little bit better at us. Uh, ooh, he's a little bit better than us at um, at Marshall, but all the other stuff he's, he's pretty bad at. He's arbitrary as well. I think I'm, I would probably make a better counselor than this guy. Uh, first is first makes friends with the counselor. Yep, let's try it. Bitter rivals. All right, he said very openly to me that he will pay me back for the supposed insult. Here anyway, I appoint you to the council of the Vale as Master Arms. Okay, so we we convinced our leash with this guy, our Hubert Hunter. Hunter. Oh, this is another Hunter. No, so that's not that's not, that's not actually that great because we, <laughs> Elena Hunter is the our ally, while uh, Hubert Hunter is now our rival. So I was going to duel him, <laughs> but we can't, I don't really trust, I really want to do that. I guess they're not that closely related. I don't know where this guy is actually. Is this him? 
Quacklop Point. The hunters are a powerful house, man, in the veil. Because the, the, the high load, high load of Quacklop Point is also a hunter. There we go. We place Lord Paramount Hubert Hunter as Master at Arms. I think we deserve it. I think we deserve it. We are a powerful man. We will uh, increase in prestige quite significantly this way. I think. Where is it? Master Arms will plus 0 0.3. Great. We can have another... Um, we can become the Regent. We can aim for the Regency. Uh, that's also not a bad idea, actually, because we have quite high intrigue, so we have uh, we have some skill at that. Um, yeah, let's do it. Mm, we can have, we can plot to become regent, right? That's the thing. We get evidence, replace Lady Valora, and become regent. Sure. Let's see. Let's see what happens. See who wants to join me in this plot. Oh, nobody makes sense, I guess. <laughs> Because, uh, oh, we become a lot close friends, what? At first, at first I had only wanted Robert to teach me about his work as a counselor, but I aspired, uh, because I aspired to gain that position, but as we talked and got to know each other, I realized we had become friends. Okay. Are we now rivals and friends? No. <laughs> but I mean, I'm not complaining. <laughs> Hubert the Vane, Hunter, so the Hunters are our, uh, are our good friends, the uh, Hunter house nowadays, I guess. How, how will we explain this? Like, I guess we were very gracious in taking the position from him. I guess we said, okay, come on, my, my guy, you're uh, 58 years old. We will give you some money. We're the up-and-comers. We want to uh, want you to teach us uh, your your ways, yada, yada, yada. Uh, he's still master of horse and still commander. So I guess we kind of went... Maybe, maybe we said, okay, uh, do you remember uh, you remember Lord Horton? Do you remember the da Daenerys Targaryen? Maybe you should uh, should back off a little bit. I, I, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to explain this in the intro because uh, he was he was a big rival of mine, and then he became a friend. I think I think we just we wrote him sort of a candid letter, maybe. Not quite sure. I mean, we're rude and deceitful, so maybe he we apologized for being rude to him earlier. So we we, we sort of were very rude in uh, getting rid of him, and then we sent him a an honest letter, or it seemed honest, we're deceitful. It seemed honest. Or, uh, or maybe we um, we sparred with him, or we we showed him how, how good of a fighter we are, because I think that's that's something he respects. Hmm. Let's think about that. Uh, my lover is pregnant. Yeah, we can visit her, right? Hello, uh, Diana, our uh, teenage lover. Yeah, let's uh, continue swaying our boy, uh, Lord Paramount Devon. Uh, only a few words need, need to be exchanged between honorable rulers. How about uh, how about that non-aggression pact? Yes, uh, finally. A wise choice. I accept your proposal for an non-aggression pact. What about an alliance? Also, nice. I uh, accept your proposal for an alliance. Great. I mean, we're starting to become a pretty formidable ally in our own right. right? We have 5,000 troops. And it will grow even further. It will grow up to, uh, to 7,000 or something like that. 8,000 even nearly. So uh, that makes sense to me. That uh, even uh, even uh, sort of the Lord Paramounts of the realm are starting to uh, notice us and see uh, that we are worth uh, worth allying. So I think we grow. Uh, we've grown in power quite a bit this episode. Um, I think we're probably going to end it there. Yeah. So I think this is a pretty nice place to end it. So uh, we have. Uh, we have done more than our, our father could in the, the short years that we played as him. We. Um, we secured uh, an alliance with the Lannisters. We secured, uh, secured an alliance with the uh, Tyrells. We secured an alliance with the uh, Hunters in more ways than one. Um, we have uh, Elena Strongsong, who is our... How is she related to me? Yeah, okay, she, she's my daughter's... She's my son's... Yeah, she's my son's mother-in-law. And we have uh, the other Hunters here. Uh, Hubert Hunter, who... Uh, Begrudgingly respects us for uh, taking his position. <laughs> um, and uh, we have conquered the castle of Runestone, one of the more more powerful castles in the Vale. We might make that our capital at some point, once it's uh, completely uh, back to uh, back uh, fully restored to its former glory, which is not uh, that far off. Yes, so uh, let's see next episode. We are uh, aiming to become regent of the Vale. We also still have uh, that claim that my wife has on the on the um, Kingdom of the Stormlands, which we might want to press at some point. Uh, oh, we can't do it. Must be our leash or a vessel of our leash. 
I guess we need to become independent of the veil or become Lord Permanent of the veil before we can do that. Hmm. That's a little bit of a setback, I guess, but uh, I think we can probably work our way up to becoming uh, the Lord Parent of the Ville itself. In fact, we might want to sort of sort that a little bit. Uh, let's see. Let's, let, 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 let me think about that. Let, let, let me think about a strategy to uh, be able to um, attack the Stormlands. We could also just wait for another big war, another, um, uh, another big conflict, and uh, just attack the Stormlands during that conflict and take it. That uh, might not be a bad idea. All right, but that's all for uh, for next time. A lot of avenues for expansion. Still uh, quite a slow build-up. But uh, interesting stuff has, ha has happened. The uh, Iron Throne has expanded uh, immensely. And uh, we'll hopefully not keep it together because we still don't like these guys. <laughs> um, yes, so thank you guys for very much for watching. Uh, sorry for the delay. Uh, we've had uh, the multiplayer thing and I've had, I've had some other things going on as well uh, in my life. And uh, not, nothing too bad, but... Uh, it's just uh, that the uh, upload uh, frequency might go down for a few weeks. I figure I can still get uh, three episodes a week out, but uh, maybe a little bit more uh, more days in between. Uh, so, uh, you know, stay tuned. Uh, if you want to subscribe, subscribe. Um, if you want to like, like. And uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.